In this video, we will show to you the step-by-step -step procedures of erecting telecommunication poles. A telecommunication pole is a column or post used to support communication utilities such as aerial copper, coax, and fiber optic cable. It is where outside plant passive equipment attach such as nap boxes, LCP closures, and copper distribution points. We will start the procedure in excavating the hole to where the pole will be erected. These are the tools should the pole hole excavator needs. Shovel A shovel is used for digging, lifting, and moving bulk materials such as soil. Clamshell digger A clamshell digger removes loose soil quickly. It reaches out deep soil. Digging bar. A digging bar is a long, straight metal bar used as a hand tool to deliver blows to break up and loosen hard or compacted materials such as soil, rocks, Pick out rocks from the hole sides with digging bar. Let them fall into the hole. Plunge the open clamshell digger blades into the loosened soil and grab a load of fill. Set aside and move a bulk of soil using shovel. After excavation, measure the hole using tape measure if it already meets the prescribed depth. As prescribed, one sixth of the pole length should be buried. For example, five feet deep hole is needed to erect the 30 feet long pole. As a reference, ground level or GL marking is seen on the pole to know if it reached the proper the depth pass, we may start erecting the pole in the hole. Boom truck is the equipment used as a pole erecting machine. This boom truck can carry up to 2.9 tons of load. The pole to be erected weights 250 kg, suitable enough to be carried by boom machine. Secure and tie a special steel rope on the pole to be erected. Place the steel rope on the midpoint of the pole to balance it. Carefully put down the pole on the ground. One person on each end of the pole will control the swing. Direct the weight of the pole to the base and gently move the base to the hole. Be careful to some obstruction that might be encountered, such as existing drop cables and tree branches. Clear out the pole from obstructions. Move the pole gently and orient it vertically. Support and guide the movement of the pole using a steel bar on its base. When the pole is vertically oriented, move the pole downward until the base reaches the ground. Tie up a broad tape strap on the pole. Fasten the empty pipe to the tape strap to be able to twist the pole facing the rope. Turn the pole counterclockwise until the engraved logo or the tail opening of the pole will be seen facing the road.
the pole is now successfully erected. Proceed to the restoration of the base. Fill up soil and wrap around the spaces of the pole. Exert force to compact or compress the fill. Clean the area before mixing the concrete. Move away the soil being removed from digging the hole. Mix the concrete in a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 units. 1 bag of sand, 2 bags of gravel, 3 bags of cement. Pour and fill concrete mixture on the base of the pole. Furnish the base. Use a spatula to make the surface of the concrete smooth. A pole has been erected. The task is complete. Thank you for watching.